Hey guys, Aaron here again with my third video of this late, late night, and I'm here to talk to you this time about the fight Hunger Bowl between the Brigham Young Cougars and the Washington Huskies coming out of the Pac-12. Uh, this is an interesting matchup between a great defense and a great offense, um, a great coach and Bronco Mendenhall going up against an interim coach because Steve Sarkeesian is gone. So this ought to be very interesting. So let's start by talking about Brigham Young, BYU, the Cougars. Let's talk about their season. Right? These guys aren't in any conference, so there was no conference championship or anything like that on the line. They are, however, a really strong independent team with a good strength of schedule. And honestly, they did better than I thought they would, but they lost some games I thought they shouldn't have at the same time. They won about as many games I thought they would, but they beat different teams than I thought they would. They started off the year at Virginia, a team that struggled that my own Ball State Cardinals drilled, but they got beat 19-16 to by the Cavaliers in their opening game. However, after that, they traveled home and played a then 15th ranked Texas, and they won 40-21. to But then they followed that up by having a home game against Utah, who struggled this times this year, although they were solid, and got beat 20-13. to So it was just hard to get a read on them early on. But after that, they really turned it on. They had victories against Middle Tennessee, and they put up 31 points on the, and a 31-14 win over Utah State, who, if y'all just watch, shut down Jordan Lynch and NIU tonight. They were able to beat Georgia Tech 38-20. to They beat Houston close one, 47-46. They beat Boise State 37-20, and it was a good win for the program. Uh, they gave Wisconsin a game at Wisconsin. They were 24th ranked on November 9th, but Wisconsin was just too much. Beat them 27 to 17. But they followed that up with a 59-13 drubbing of Idaho State. So, with 10 games in the books, they were 7 and 3, looking really good, hoping for a solid finish. And they went to Notre Dame the next week, looking to get a big win in South Bend, but they weren't able to get it done. Notre Dame put up 23 and only gave up 13, and it was enough for them to get the W. So the Irish were able to beat him, and that dropped him to 7-4 and four going into a away game at Nevada, who was actually a pretty tough team this year. But BYU would not be denied. They were able to beat him 28-23 in their last game, and were able to finish the season off 8-4 and four and get invited into this bowl game. Now, these guys are coached by Bronco Mendenhall, and they've won like six of their last eight bowls or something like that, I think. And he's a big reason of it. He's a great coach. He play, he gets his players to play solid. And this team really is pretty solid. They're about establishing the run full on. They run the ball a lot. 274 yards a game running compared to only 220 passing. So they're only 75th in the nation passing, but they're 10th in the nation running, this, running the ball here. Um, they had two different people, their quarterback Hill and their uh, first string running back Williams with over 1,200 yards rushing on the year and had 16 touchdowns between them. So these guys are going to look to establish the run and a lot of it early on with the occasional pass floating over that defense and they're kind of gun-shy on the run. Uh, they scored 31 points a game, which is kind of median, 53rd, but they only gave up 21 a game, which is 22nd in the nation. These guys are a stout team that play pretty good defense, although not as good as last year's team, and will try to establish the run and control the clock to keep Washington off the field. Speaking of Washington, let's talk about them. These guys, I mean, sky was the limit for these guys this year. They kind of fell where I thought they would, but they had an upside that was as high as 12-0 competing for the title game. And if a few plays had gone differently at times, they could be close to it. But it just didn't work out for them this year. Um, they started the year off very strongly at home against uh, then 19th ranked Boise State team, the only opponent they had in common outside of Idaho State with... Brigham Young, they beat them 38-6. to They just shut them down. They then traveled to Illinois, a long-distance travel for an away game, and were able to beat the Fighting Illini 34-24. They played Idaho State, pretty identical to the BYU game against them. Only they shut them out, beat them 56-0. Um, they followed that up with a 31-13 win over a pretty good Arizona team. And then after that, they really hit the hardest part of their schedule. A brutal three-week trek at Stanford, at home against Oregon, and at Arizona State. Now, Stanford, they gave them one heck of a game. It came down to the wire, and that was at the fifth-ranked team in the nation. 
but Stanford was able to beat them 31 to 28 in the end. They then went out, went back home to play then number two ranked Oregon, and it was a close game pretty long throughout. But Oregon was able to run away with it late and win 45 to 24. Then they went to Arizona State, who at the time seemed like the easiest one of the three, and it was one where people thought they might win. But Arizona State clobbered them, beat them 53 to 24. And at the time, it, it looked horrible. But Arizona State turned out to be a really good team this year, when a lot of people slept on. So they went with three straight losses and were four and three, not looking good. But Washington was able to finish the year up strong, winning four of their last five. They beat Cal, beat Colorado. They were un unable to beat uh, UCLA, who was 13th at the time. They lost 41-31 to them. But they finished out the year with a 69-27 drubbing of Sean Mannion, Oregon State, and a 27-17 victory over Wazoo in the, fin in the finale. This team... When they're at their peak, they're unbelievable. They have one of the greatest running backs in college football in Bishop Sankey with 1,775 rushing yards and 18 touchdowns. Uh, they have another running back in Washington who's pretty good, 322 yards and four touchdowns with 7.1 yards per carry. The two combined, 22 touchdowns. And they also have one of the best passers, a top 25 passer in Division One football with Keith Price. This guy through for 2,800 yards and 20 touchdowns of his own. So these guys were able to put some pretty good points up. And they're actually ranked in the top 35 in all four of the stats on ESPN.com. They were uh, 31st in the nation with 271 passing yards a game, 14th in the nation with 243 running, so that's a nice balanced attack. They were 18th in points four with 38 and a half a game, and 34th in points against with 23 a game given up. These guys have a pretty stout defense outside of their games against Oregon and Arizona State. They were able to really keep it close, competitive all throughout. Their defense was able to shut a lot of teams down, especially Boise State. They really have a lot of potential to play good here. But BYU is really going to test them, and they lost their head coach, Steve Sarkeesian, to USC. So they're not going to have him there with them to coach them through this game. It's going to be interesting. Um... BYU, they're kind of their key to the game is going to be trying to put up a solid at least 30 points. They're actually like 73 and 8 under Bronco Mendenhall, and they put up 24 or more points. So BYU wants to put up points, and they want to keep the Huskies off the field. I, uh, Washington, when they're on the field, that offense can be potent. They always put up good points. The smallest point total I think they put up all year was 31. That's a lot of points. Oh, 27. Even then, that's a lot of points. Like, these guys, you're not going to stop them. All you can do is contain them. And BYU is going to be pretty good at that. They're going to be able to do it better than most teams would be able to do with that stout defense. But I don't think it's going to be enough. I think that Washington's going to come out and win this football game with Keith Price's arm and, and Bishop Sankey's legs. I think Sankey's going to have about 100 yards rushing. He's going to have to earn them because BYU's got a tough rushing defense and they're really going to cramp down. But I think he's going to have a pretty good game with about four yards carry average, and I think Keith Price is going to be able to get at least 150, 200 yards in the air. And I think they're probably going to get around 30 points, 35 maybe. And BYU's probably going to be in the 20s, like 20 on the dot. And I think the final score is going to be something – in the range of 34 to 20 Washington. I think Washington's going to take it in the second half. And BYU's just not a team that's really good at coming back from behind. So 34 to 20 Washington, I think. If you guys agree with me, let me know. If you don't, let me know anyways. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments overall. And feel free to comment after the game's over and kind of tell me how I did. And, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Good luck to both teams tomorrow, and enjoy a great day of bowl games.